Hey guys, that Monkey Man back here for that video. Guys, if you're new here, before I start this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, um, if you're liking this video, make sure you hit that like button and share the video if you found it helpful in any kind of way. So guys, this is an older video because I just want to show you guys, this is back when I had 7.7 .7 million. Um, in mid late uh, January was when I actually hit 9.5 million, which was the most uh, coins I ever had on you know this year, which is was well, just amazing to me. It's actually the most coins I ever had in Madden. So my point of this video, guys, is to tell you guys and show you guys how to actually get that amount of coins and how I got that amount of coins, pretty much, because again I did not spend any money on the game this year and again I hit 9.5, 9.6, and yeah, so. And I didn't do it over, it didn't take me too long. It took me about, I'd say, three or four, no, not three or four, eh, one and a half months, I guess. It wasn't anything too crazy. Now, if you guys do not know, if you're new to the channel, I do have 10 farm accounts. Um, if you guys want to know how to make 10 farm accounts, check out my channel, my video, on my, my video on my channel. You, you'll find out how to make 10 farm accounts. But pretty much plain and simple breaking down. Um... I started with zero coins like everybody else, right? And then I did, you know, did the solos, the gauntlet. The gauntlet was amazing. And I got me my first 100k. And then I went right into sniping. Now, guys, I have break, I have breaks down on my channel about how to snipe and stuff like that. But I did, you know, I sniped for my first million coins. After that, I did some investments um, into this game, of course, you know, trying to invest in some cards. And that got me to about 1.5 million. Nothing's too crazy just investing in the team of the week cards and then selling them back you know making my profit uh pretty much actually the whole idea of you know like buying the cards for the sets that on packs on the weekends and then selling them back throughout the week is mainly stuff i've been telling you guys um all year long but so that's how i got my coins up to about 1.5 million i did that for a couple weeks and i kind of gave up on it just because team of the weeks weren't going for that much Especially throughout the year, you know, Team of the Week's kind of went down in price. Um, and then once Football Outsiders started, like, you know, kind of picking up in overalls, I started doing it with that. I started doing it with that, and I got up to about 3 million. Obviously, I do grind solos, guys. I've grinded over 8,000 solos this year. Um, I've spent a lot of coins off videos, and that's also probably why um, I could probably have up to 30 million right now, but I spent a lot of coins on videos. I, over, I overpay for cards and stuff like that. So after I hit 2 million, um, I saw, you know, going back to sniping and kind of overpricing cards. You know, I have a whole video on how to overprice cards in Madden, but I overpriced cards and I got about 2.5 million. Once I got 2.5 million, that's when I did the chemistry solos on all 10 of my accounts. Um, it cost me about 2.4 million to do. I got back about roughly, I say about 2, 2.5 million. Uh, plus, you know, the 2.5 million that already I put in, I got back about 2 million there. So I had about 4.5 million at that time. Um, after 4.5 million, I, I went through and I did the solos on all my accounts, trying to see get as much coins as possible. That got me up to about 6 million. Um, at, when I was at 6 million, I invested into elite badges when they were going for like 13, 14k, I believe. And I, I think, I think what they went up to was like 25k for like a day. And I sold, all, I didn't invest all 6 million, but I invested a lot. And that got me to about 7.88 million. Um, and then after that, I just, you know, I just went back to sniping and I got about 1.6 million. It took me about, a, uh, I'll say about a week and a half. And that's just because I got lucky, guys. A lot of times that ha was that actually, that was happening during Christmas promo, which a lot of people were putting up these cards, these really uh, expensive elite cards. For very very low prices and I just took advantage of that and that's how I you know got up there to about 9.6 and of course then I bought a team and as you guys know whenever you buy a team the price your uh, coins slowly goes down because when you try to resell the team you don't make your coins back so that's how I made 9.6 million once again I started with zero and then I just you know I did a gauntlet got up to 100k then I slowly grinded my way through sniping up to about a million and then I went on from there through um, you know sniping investing and chemistry solos 
and then once I've done the chemistry solos, some more solo challenges. Pretty much, guys, if you want to make that 9 million coin mark, one thing on my channel, whenever there's any kind of coin making method, I will tell you guys about it. I will make a video right away saying, do this method. Or, you know, if there's an investment way to invest into something and make coins. If you guys do not know, last year I made five or oh, nine million coins actually last year too by investing in elite badges. If there's a way to invest guys into these sets, into these, um, you know, promo to make coins, I will be making videos about it. So if you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button because that's going to be the way you're going to find out all these investment tips, all these ways to make coins. I'm not just making coins by sniping investing is the easiest way if you can put that in two million coins guys double that triple that quadruple that it doesn't take much if you invest six million for cards that are going for 6k and they go up to 9k you're going to easily you know you're going to triple your value of coins so that's my whole principle of you know investing in this game and you know trying to make coins that way so definitely something to look at guys and Again, I made about 9.6 million this year. Obviously, I'm trying to get my way back up there. I did switch all to PS4, so that is the reason why. But I did just do a uh, two Marcus Allen and a Cam Chancellor giveaway. So, you know, I'm trying to get my coins back up there on PS4. Um, but 9.6 million, guys. If you guys, you can do it too. I did not spend money in the game. I grinded my way to 9.6, and it doesn't take much. I'm oh, sorry, it takes a lot. But it can be done. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey guys, if you did enjoy this video and you would like to support me even more, definitely you can do so by going down below in the description and uh, going and joining the GOAT list. Now the GOAT list is a list of people where I do monthly giveaways for Xbox One and PS4 mod cards. Also, it's just a list of people. If I ever need, you know, you get direct contact with me. I can talk. You can talk to me whenever you would like to. Um, and if I ever need to do a connected franchise or anything like that, or if I'm doing wager matches, or if I, you know, want someone to play someone for a video, um, I'm going to be looking at the GOAT list to actually choose those people to play. Also, you will be added into every one of my descriptions for joining the GOAT list. And now the new award is you will be added into every one of my videos, as you can see on your screen right now. Nate Dog, Ryan the Snatcher, and Timothy are currently members of the GOAT list. So guys, if you want to join them and be a member of the GOAT list for awesome giveaways and a lot of us awesome awards, definitely do so down below in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.